New York City, the destination for the 76ers. He is an absolute blur with the ball and a terrific jump shot to boot. Tyrese Maxey always dangerous as they await tip-off against the Knicks. Sixers, Knicks, just moments away right after this. everyone time to get into it nba action on 2k sports this is kevin harlan along with clark kellogg and greg anthony and of course david aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline da it's all yours well thank you very much now the 90s nba was physical and no team embodied that more than the knicks when the league cracked down with rule changes in 1997 it was seen as a direct response to new york then nick doc Rivers said those were anti-Nick rules, obviously aimed at us because we did those things so much more and so much harder than everybody else. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. So with Iguodala sitting on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. We've got Cunningham, Joel Embiid out there with Ivers, and it's Greer in at the shooting guard position. And for New York, they've got Frazier. Ewing is out there with Garnett. Then it's King, and it's Guerin in at the two guard. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. Here's Shades. They just worked San Antonio in that last game. Greer passes to Embiid. He doesn't hit that one. Now the Knicks take it the other way. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. Well, it helps when your opponent makes that many mistakes. I thought that was the story of the game. Yeah, I think that was a big part of it for sure, as it is any time you make a bunch of mistakes. All they had to do was follow their game plan, and that's exactly what they did. And Garnett misses. And it's Cunningham with the ball for the 76ers. And Iverson gets it to go. And Iverson can knock down the triple from time to time. I like seeing that part of his game expand. Here's Frazier. Ewing trying to get open. A nice shot by yeah. Frazier. And once he got to the chin, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. This is his first free throw of the game. And from the line thus far, how about 83% on the season? Outstanding. And guys, I think that's a tribute to his work ethic. I mean, it's not by accident that he's enjoying the success he is at the free throw line. That's good from Cunningham. We have just about a half season behind us. The rankings are clearer than ever, Greg. Do you feel confident starting to make some playoff predictions? Oh, Kevin, it's way too early for that. Injuries, other roster shakeups. There's just still so much that could happen and, and totally reshape those rankings. And so he hits both. And Cunningham is an elite offensive player, a guy who can score in bunches and does a little bit of everything for his team. That one falls. Yeah. Well, I like the determination and the hustle. This guy leaves it all out there every time he's between the lines. Five, four. Greer passes to Iverson. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Here's Greer. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. So the wing on the left. Ewing against Embiid. King, right side. Here's Garnett. Good work there as it goes. Oh, I like how King looks to set up his guys. He's known as a scorer, but showing you there, he can find the open teammate as well. Passes it to Shade. Here's Greer. 14 feet away. Ewing gets the rebound. 
Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Iverson against Frazier. Garnett outside. King outside. Six on the shot clock. From downtown, Ewing the pass to Garnett. Here's Garen. Second chance shot, and the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And King, here we go. Crafty and cunning on the attack. King just knows how to score on the drive. Seven. The 76ers trail by three. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. It's a hand on it, and Embiid is right there. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. And those second chance points can add up. And if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up baskets like that. Now here's Garnett. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Clippers. And how about the job he did rebounding as well, guys? I mean, just a dominant performance on the glass. But these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. When Joel Embiid entered the NBA, many questioned if he would be able to overcome the devastating injury. Well, you know, he didn't play his first two years in the league. Those questions were fair to ask. I mean, is this guy ever going to get on the court? But once he did, oh, my, a monster. I've not seen a big guy do the stuff Joel Embiid can do. It's actually insane. And the first one drops. Shays is a guy who excels not just at scoring, but rebounding, too. Both at a high rate. This guy is a double-double machine. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Garen passes to Ewing. First shot, first pass. He's out of the block. He's fast. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Here's Shays. Second chance effort. Ewing gets the rebound. Ewing's got four rebounds now tonight. King against Cunningham. King left side. The shot will not fall. Good D by Embiid. The 76ers trail by four. Here's Greer. Bangs home the trifecta. Greer. Greer's got his second bucket tonight. Man, he just sees everything on the floor. Nice vision from Iverson to find the open man. To the left wing. King outside. From the baseline. On the wing, Ewing. Sinks that one from the post. Very self-confident in the paint. Ewing excels at scoring close to the hoop. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Their last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game, great adjustments on the offensive end. Well, it's really hard to stop them when they're in a groove offensively, and they were in a comfort zone all game long in that one. The 76ers trail by three. Here's Greer. He also had a big impact in that win against the Spurs. And a fast break now for the Knicks. 
Garnett inside. Here's King. No good from outside. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. Now here's King. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Clippers. Shot clock at five. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. The deceptive strength and the raw tenacity of King able to take hits and power right through him. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for New York. I really like how they're knifing inside with confidence, exploiting any openings they see in the defense, taking advantage. And how about how they've converted in close? I mean, they're doing a great job involving the big fellas. And what I like about King, he doesn't try to get flashy or fancy. He only cares about being effective. And he goes out there and just takes care of business. And in the end, the points just pile up. Unloads from 13. MB wide open. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Here is Frazier. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Clippers. Boy, he was piling up those assists in that one. I mean, every pass seemed to be on time and on target. Now here's King. Shoots a fader, and yes, it's good. King's got nine. Tell you what, the mid-range game of King, exquisite. You got to respect that. Very creative at getting space to shoot from here. Here's Shades. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. And that one's good, Iverson. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Here is Frazier after the made shot from Allen Iverson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First pick. And one of the very best in our league at getting to the line. Walt, Walt Frazier Walt just Frazier. has that great change of pace line. and aggressive nature. Always playing, though, under control. Free throw good, Frazier. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. It's Jones on the wing. It's stolen by Frazier. Richardson kicks to Frazier. Pass to Ewing. To Busher with it, covered by Irving. Shot clock at six. Fades back. The shot's good from DeBusher. And the Knicks lead by eight. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. And the 76ers call time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Outside Irving, Philadelphia moving the ball around. The busher against Jones. Picks it out to Malone. Wide open. And it's Reed pulling it down. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Malone against Frazier. Just five on the clock. And again, it's New York. 
the spleen intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punt blazing. Here's Iverson following the score by Walt Frazier. Count it. Iverson's got seven points in the game. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Richardson against Iverson. Shot on the wing. Next with a new 14. Reed kicks to Richardson. Over Iverson. Misses off the right eye. The 76ers trail by eight. field goal for him. Four and for six shooting tonight. One of the better scorers on the floor. Tough to defend him well without some contact. And AI fights through it this time. And it's sent back by Irving. To the paint. Oh, and he pops it off the glass. Wow. McGinnis the pass to Irving. And guys, it's crazy. He really was a late move. You know, Irving didn't have the big time amateur career. You hear about with some stars. But boy, he's more than made up for it. The 76ers have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Yeah, guys, they can feel very good about themselves when you bring up those statistics. Impressive numbers. And the missed free throws starting to be an issue. Yeah, they're scuffling at the line. Struggling is a better way to put it. But you like the fact they're getting there. You now it's just a matter of knocking them down. Here's Frazier. Score the bucket. He's made five so far. Shooting a very clean five of seven. Well, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding bottom. Now here's Iverson. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Spurs in San Antonio. And, and, you know, he was getting fouled time and time again and really delivered at the free throw line. Huge contribution there, guys. Now here's Frazier after the miss from Allen Iverson. Frazier the pass to Reed. Plays it up off the glass. And now a 10-point Knicks lead. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. McGinnis, some solid defense from Reed. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear. They're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Now here's Frazier. He's got 12. And there's another one for the Knicks. Fantastic start from the field for him. Six for eight. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. Jones kicks to Malone. There's the pass to McGinnis. Goes back up. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Frazier against Irving. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Way to attack there and then create the contact. Really as close as you can get to an and one right there. He almost had it. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And that 82% free throw percentage this season must have him feeling pretty good about himself at the line. You know, one thing about getting going at the free throw line like he has this season, it can continue to carry over. No good on the free throw. And he's good on the second. The 76ers trail by 13. Iverson outside. And stolen by Richardson. It'll count. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. New York ahead. They lead by 13. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily.
Cut. Big round of applause. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a comfortable margin for the Knicks here, guys. Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. Here's Richardson. This is the most they've led by 13 points. So with Iguodala sitting on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. They've got MB. Cunningham is out there with Irving, and it's Greer in at the one spot. Here's Gary. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Here is Cunningham. After New York gets the three. Here's Greer. That's in coming off the assist from Cunningham. Cunningham's got three assists now in this one. Richardson outside. King outside. Five to shoot. And he drops in the layup off the glass. King's got 11 points. He has the complete game in the paint. He can get plenty of points on the perimeter as well, but inside, that's where he butters his bread. That was the 2K drop. Is that move deserved another look? And that finish sums up the whole game. They have a big lead due to execution on drives just like that. Here's Irving and the slam dunk by Irving. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Have a look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hander. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrich. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA, but on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Here's Garen, covered by Irving. Garen, no good. The 76ers trail by 15. And a wide open look for Cunningham. And it's Reed pulling it down. Reed's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. King outside, down low. And Embiid with the block. A fantastic defender. Embiid is consistent, not only blocking shots, but going after him as well, especially when he's in the area. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through. He really came in second in MVP voting two years in a row. No player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. Here's Richardson. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Pass to Guerin. Over Irving. And that one's good, Guerin. Gittins got five points now this quarter. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Irving with the bounce pass. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Shades. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Well, it was a slow start, but they've gone from simmer to medium heat, and they're bordering on hot to close this gap. Now here's King, 13 points in the game. That one's rebounded by Embiid. King with the steal. Over Cunningham, King, that's good. King's got 15. Guys, I tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. Greer passes to Shade. And looks like the illegal kick was set up. That's why that'll get their attention. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another beforehand. 
Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. Now, and that block block might serve as a spark Patrick for this Ewing. team. We'll see if it can ignite them. And New York making a change here. Ewing's checked in. New York leading by 12. Richardson outside. King outside. Embiid against Ewing. No good that time. Good D by Embiid. The 76ers trail by 12. Passes to Greer. Here's Shades. Richardson cover. And there's the foul. It'll go on Patrick Ewing. That's his first foul. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Four on the shot clock. Fires from the line, and it's Greer missing. For New York, they've gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. King, that's good. Next lead, 47, 33. Here's Greer. Eight points for him. He kicks it to Cunningham. Here's Greer. Pass to Shade. Cunningham trying to break free. That one's in there. The next lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from Shades. Richardson outside. Ewing trying to get open. Richardson, good. Richardson's got his first bucket in this one. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Cunningham passes to Shade. Good, and the assist goes to Cunningham. Cunningham's got four assists now tonight. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Now, here's Richardson. A 17-point game for him in the win against the Clippers. Ewing trying to get open. Richardson, no luck. The 76ers trail by 10. Here's Shays. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. The Knicks have gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. Garnett finds Ewing. And he comes up with the deuce. Ewing. Ewing's got six points. Boy, down low, Ewing's strength gives him the upper hand. He's pretty agile as well, helping him push through the contact. Now the pass to Cunningham. Here's Greer. Richardson cover. Releases. Garnett grabs the board. Garnett's got his fourth rebound in this one. Ewing inside. Guarded by Embiid. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. And different games, different officials. Something that might be called a foul in one game, Greg, may not be called in the next. As a player, how do you adjust to that? I mean, that's a great question, and that's part of being a veteran. I learned early on, you actually scout officials the same way you scout the players. They have tendencies as well. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And his average at the line stands at about 79% right now. So solid numbers in that department. And Philadelphia making a change here. Good on the second free throw. The Knicks leading by 13. Scanning the floor. Out to the right wing. Here's to Busher. Off target with his three. Philadelphia's gone six or seven from long range tonight. They've been on fire from way outside. That shot wide open. Irving's got his second basket of the game. 
And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the up. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Now, here's Ewing. Eight points for him. Just five to shoot to Busher. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Now, Cunningham from T. Iverson. Kept alive. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut down to just eight points with the bucket from Shades. Just creating havoc for the opponents the last few games. Well, he's done it again right there on the offensive glass. I mean, it's a great stretch that he's having here, and, boy, I really admire his energy. And now Philadelphia on the break. Irving leading the charge. Cunningham. And then Cunningham with the dunk. Yeah, you know, one thing about being a great scorer, you draw a lot of defensive attention, and there Irving takes advantage by finding an open teammate. Now here's Frazier. 15 points in the game. Feeds it to Garnett. Good, and it's Frazier who picks up the assist. Garnett's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, you know, we know this about Frazier. Tremendously creative, both as a scorer and as a playmaker. Pass to Cunningham. Allen Iverson on the way. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Hands on Dave DeBusher. Baiting defenders in the fouls. AI so good at drawing fouls and getting to the strike. The 76ers have missed four of their eight free throws up to this point. Things not really going their way at the line yet. And he makes the first. McGinnis, who's checked in for the 76ers. Jones comes in for Cunningham. And both free throws good for Iverson. You can really tell Iverson approaches the game with a single-minded focus. Can be intimidating trying to defend the guy with his level of skill and determination. Now, here's Ewing. He had 28 points in the win against the Clippers. Back to Frazier. Malone with the block. How about the quicks there by Malone to get up and deter that shot, utilizing that size and reach for the rejection. Well, if you like guys who can work that in-between area, really keeps the defense honest. And I'll tell you what, guys, I mean, with this combination of size and touch, he's a real threat from mid-range. They get it again. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. 59-49. Mulginnis against Garnett. Mulginnis the pass to Urban. The Knicks pull it in. Ewing's got his second rebound here tonight. DeBusher passes to Garnett. Makes it off the glass. Garnett's got four points now in the fourth. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Back to Iverson. Over Frazier. The 76ers with another mix. And Ewing has got the ball here for the Knicks. At one point, they led by 16. They came away with the victory in their last meeting, which, by the way, was also in this building. And they got the better of this matchup last time with their defensive pressure and the ability to force turnovers. And that really was the difference. I mean, it requires a ton of energy to play that harassing style. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they can do it again tonight. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Out of hand on it. And out of bounds as the next game possession. Coming on to the floor, the New York Knicks. Willis Reed. Frazier's got 17 now. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. 
And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. And so it's New York with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Joined by Doc Rivers. Coach, what did you think of the effort in the first half? Well, the effort's fine, I guess. Uh, defensively, we got to be better, so that's part of the effort. But they're just scoring too easy. They're throwing us around. They are so much more of a physical team right now, so we got to pick up our physicality. I'm sure that will be discussed thoroughly before the next half. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. It is Bedlam here. The hometown crowd loving that first half. I'm Ernie Johnson along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. New York holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They're leading by 16. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? They're getting into the lane whenever they want getting some high percentage looks. I don't see the coaching staff switching up too much. Keep it simple. Force your opponent to adapt to you. And Shaq, what do you think about Philadelphia? The shooting percentage they allow is through the roof. The coach should absolutely be ripping and ripping. Ooh, take some pride on the other end. Just lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Walt Frazier really has his fingerprints all over this one. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Garnett out there with King. Then there's Frazier. Then it's Ewing, and it's Guerin, and it's a two-guard spot. So that's where Tom Thibodeau starts the second half. With. And that's taking three points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. Here's Greer, following the score by Kevin Garnett. Greer passes to Iverson. Count it, number five from the four this game. He's now five of 11. A volume shooter, Iverson stays aggressive on offense, whether he's hot or cold. And right now, he's on fire. Here's Garen, passes it to King. And there's the feed to Frazier. And now the 76ers on the break. Here's Shays. Good. And it's Iverson who picks up the assist. The Shays has got 15 points. Iverson. And they need those kind of plays right now. Smart defense that generates some oak. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Iverson against Frazier. Pocket six. It's tipped. Anderson against Garnett. To the inside. The high post shot. Iverson no good. New York leading by 14. Pass to Garen. Shoots over MB. And that one's good, Garen. Yeah, Garen's got his third basket of the night right there. Well, I think he shot the ball well, guys, but I don't think he shot it enough. The more shots he gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. Iverson, no good. The Knicks have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. And that one's good, Garen. He's got nine. You know, Garnett is a willing passer, especially when one of his guys has a clean look. And the pass to Shade. Kicks to Irving. At the top of the key, and B. Here's Shades. No good. 
Excellent D there from Garnett. Here's King. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. And we may have an injury here. That does not look good. And that's the one thing you just really can't control or, or even guard against, and that's injury. Yeah, you know, aside from some of the player protection rules, which have been of benefit, a lot of it just comes down to what the body can withstand. Moses Malone. He's checked in for Philadelphia. Cunningham comes in for Irving. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Outside, Malone. Cunningham passes to Iverson. Knocked loose. All by himself. Here's Ewing. King outside. Ewing inside. Count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. Philadelphia's gone seven and nine on three pointers tonight. Outstanding mark from long range. Here's Greer. Eight points for him. Iverson gets the bucket. And, you know, for being a smaller guard, Iverson is a master at finishing inside. Just remarkable. Frazier against Iverson. Goes up from the top of the key. King, the pass to Ewing. Back to King. Five on the clock. Over Cunningham, and it's good. The time running down on the shot clock. King's got 21 in the game. And this is what King can do. Go through these stretches where he's just impossible to cool off. Very few guys are as capable of games like this. Here's Greer. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Now here's Garnett. Now here's King. He's got 21. The kick out to Frazier. Tries again. Ewing the pass to King. Garnett trying to break loose. King's shot is off. For Philadelphia, they've gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. And that one good from Greer. Wanting to get his teammates in the rhythm. Iverson showing leadership with these types of passes. New York leading by 20. Here's Frazier. Ewing trying to get open. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the best that they want anyway. Kudos for the effort, but he got there a little too late. Richardson, he's checked in for Frazier. Michael Ray Richardson. For Philadelphia, they've gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Iverson outside. Here's Greer. They grabbed their own miss. A really good rebound in traffic. That's what the big fella's there for. Richardson outside. Knocked away. Last break, Philadelphia. Here's Iverson. Finished off the break. Iverson. Iverson's got 17. Well, so often we see this transition buckets off turnovers. And we know turnovers are painful and costly. You get loose with the ball on one end and get punished on the other end. Richardson. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got rebound number five here tonight. New York foul. A different look for New York. He comes in for Patrick Ewing. And it's the busher in for Kevin Garnett. Substitution for your Knicks. Embiid finds Cunningham. Dave DeBusher. The three from Iverson. Hands it from downtown. Iverson. Iverson's got nine go. points now in just the second half. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. Now here's King. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. The baseline, Jay, off the mark. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Cunningham passes to Greer. Some solid defense from Reed. 
And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. And Cunningham with the slam. Moses you know, this Malone. is why Moses Malone's teammates like playing with him because when they're uncovered and open, he finds them. Pass to Reed. Here's Garen. New York moving the ball around. King against Cunningham. The fader. Two points. That one goes. King's got six in the quarter. You know, maybe save that fadeaway move for when he really needs it. Moment here now for an injury report. Hi, guys. The head athletic trainer for Philadelphia let me know the status. He told me that it's a sprained knee. And while he is in extreme pain right now, he appears to have escaped without suffering any tears. He's definitely out for this game, and they said there's a chance he could miss a few more games as well. We obviously hope it's fewer games, Kevin. Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, when, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. And Clark Commissioner Silver noted recently is the league moves to a more selective viewing experience. Road management could hurt revenues even further. Yeah, you know, when more fans can pay to watch individual games, it's a bit of a, an a la carte system. Uh, I think you need that star power every night. And even beyond that, Kevin, I think players, all players, but particularly the star players, have a responsibility to try to show up for work every single night. And that really should be the mindset. I think it goes beyond revenue. I think it's just a matter of principle. If you have a job, you should be looking to perform every time you have the opportunity. I understand rest, but I think rest should probably be confined to practice, not the game. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Iverson. Solid as a rock from 20 feet away. Iverson's got 11 here in this quarter alone. As a scorer, Iverson has great concentration. He, he's totally fixated on finding a shot. Let's it go from the wing. Richardson, no luck. Yeah, you know, he hasn't contributed well scoring the ball, but obviously his teammates have. There's the triple. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut down Iverson. now to just 11 on the basket from Allen Iverson. Doing all he can so far, but they still find themselves trailing. Malone with the block. They recover it. Richardson against Iverson. Now, here's Richardson. He's guarded closely. Pass to Garen. From deep three-point range. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. And Philadelphia making a change here. Irving's checked in. The three from Iverson. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got three assists tonight. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Richardson against Iverson. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Here's Reed. Malone with the block. Irving looking for an opening. It's rebounded by New York. 22 is their biggest lead. When this game is done, they'll be off to Orlando and they'll take on the Magic. That'll be the first half of a two game trip. Richardson the pass to Houston. Back to Richardson. Six to shoot, and there it is for him. Richardson's got six. The 76ers trail by 10 to the right side. And McGinnis kicks to Iverson. Pass to Irving. Goes up to the stripe. Up again. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Reed's got six rebounds now in the game. Iverson passes to Irving, and Dr. J slams it in. Doctor is in. What a display of those trademark dunking abilities. 
quite unique, Julius Irvin. The Knicks leading by eight. Richardson outside. Malone with the steal. Iverson with the ball. And it's Richardson picking him up. And a wide open hook for Irving. A three-pointer off the mark. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Richardson against Iverson. Richardson the pass to Houston. Back to Richardson. And that one drops. Richardson's got six in the quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes it back. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Now, here's Richardson after the miss from Allen Iverson. Richardson outside. Around the pack and lays it in. And now a 12-point Knicks lead. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget. But in the second half, he's looked a lot better. It's blocked. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Here's Garrett. He's got nine. It's good. Knicks lead. They've been looking at a sink offensively. Yeah, they, their offense has ground to a standstill. That shot, no good. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. And on that shot, Iverson. with that, the Nick lead has cut back down to 14 on those points from Iverson. For the three. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's New York with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Now let's hear what Coach Tom Thibodeau was reviewing with his team in the huddle. Right back, man. Let's go score, stop, score here. Everyone talk defensively. Get stops and then let's go. Let's go. Make the game easy for each other. Make plays. Get your spacing. And defense, obviously, so important to Coach Thibodeau. I mean, he wants his team to get stops and leak out fast. Fundamental basketball. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. So with Ingrid Allen sitting on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. Malone is out there with Embiid. Then it's Jones. Then there's Irving. And it's Greer in at the point. The 76ers trail by 14. Stolen away. DeBusher with it. Frazier outside. Garnett right side. Clock at four. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. That gives him a double-double in this one. Ten points and ten rebounds. Here's Greer. The shot misses. Nice D from Frazier. The Knicks leading by 16. Read the pass to Garnett. It's rebounded by Malone. Malone's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. The pass to Frazier. Malone against Garnett. Again, Garnett missing. The 76ers trail by 16. Here's Greer. And here's Malone. It's Jones on the way. Looking to get it going. Greer gets the bucket. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. 
And even down big, the effort and energy is still there to try and make a comeback. Now here's Frazier. Pass to Guerin. New York moving the ball around. DeBusher down low. Working on Jones. Passes it to Reed. There's your right side. The Knicks rebound. Pass to Guerin. Frazier outside. They shoot again. That's down the hatch. Watch one more to his total. That's nine for 15 shooting. And, and they worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks from mid range. Well, it's interesting. The defense continues to back off, expecting them to attack the rack. But they just continue to pull up and knock down those mid range jumpers. Frazier outside. The pass to Garrett. Over Irving. And a little luck that time, but it drops. And the Knicks lead by 16. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And Philadelphia calls time here. And team strategies are closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. For New York, Patrick Ewing's checked in for Reed, and King subbed in for DeBusha. Then for the 76ers, Cunningham, he's checked in for Jones, and Iverson's subbed in for Irving. Cunningham's shot is off. And Ewing has got the ball here for the New York Knicks. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Pass to King. On the wing, Ewing. getting to his spots and then capitalizing. Now here's Iverson, and he uses the glass on the late field. Iverson's got 32 points in the game. He's come out here in the second half and done a nice job moving, getting good looks, and finding his range. Passes it to Garen. King with it. Looking for Ewing, he gets it there. Shoots over Embiid. Ewing misses. The 76ers trail by 16. Iverson passes to Embiid, and that one is good. Few players in the NBA strike fear into opponents, but Embiid is one of them because of his size, skill, and crazy strength. Now here's Frazier. Pass to Garrett. Now Ewing, guarded by Embiid. To the middle. King outside, over to the wing. Frazier kicks to Ewing, shoots over Embiid. Another miss by Ewing. The 76ers have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Cunningham, almost, but it rolls out. The Knicks leading by 14. King inside, he's against Cunningham. King, that's good. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. Malone looking around. That shot off. Excellent D there from Garnett. King against Iverson. King inside. And the layup's good off the glass. King's got 10 points in just the second half. Ball on the string, just getting anywhere he wants to go. Malone against Garnett. And there's the pass to Cunningham. Here's Iverson. Great defense that time from Ewing. 
and he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Garnett, the pass to King. Guarded by Embiid. Boy, Ewing does a nice job anticipating shot trajectory, realizing how quick to position himself on that offensive glass. There's Embiid, and Ewing sends it back, and he's able to get it back. The Knicks leading by 20. King outside. It's Ewing high post. Well, as we know, it's here to stay, but people continue to voice their opinion on the play-in tournament format. Uh, where do you fall? I like it, Kevin. I really do. It's creative. It's innovative. It adds a level of excitement, that do-or-die feel that you sometimes don't get unless it's a game seven in the NBA playoffs. I really think it's a good add-on. Iverson, no luck. The Knicks have gone 7 to 16 from the field here in the fourth. That's about 43%. Shot by Frazier, no good. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. Richardson is checked in for the Knicks. New York Knicks, Michael Ray Richardson. New York shooting here in the fourth quarter, around 41%. Now King. Rebound by Joel and B. Bernard King. Fourth personal foul. First team foul. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. Iverson kicks to Cunningham. Greer passes to Iverson. The 76ers again can't hit it. New York leading by 20. Pass to Ewing. And stolen by Malone. Richardson against Iverson. Last season, of course, Marcus Smart on the Defensive Player of the Year. You know, Greg, it, it's rare to see a guard win it. Should perimeter players get more consideration from this point on? It's tough, Jim. I, I do think they should. I think the, the numbers, though, tend to favor the rim protectors, but it's only right to recognize great defense at every position, especially in an age of positionless basketball. Now, here's Malone to the wing right side. Five on the clock to end the cold streak. And that one good from Greer. Greer. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And stolen by Iverson. New York foul. Michael Wayne Richardson. First for Phil foul. Second team foul. Passes to Embiid. Iverson against Richardson. And it's set back by Garnett. Big block that time by Garnett using every inch of that frame to get the block. The 76ers trail by 17. Iverson with the ball. He's picked up by Ewing. Cunningham's shot is off. New York shooting 55% from the floor. They're feeling very confident offensively. Richardson, and the basket is good. Richardson's got 12 points here in the second half. And when the size of that is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. And Philadelphia calls time here. Here they are, fans. Put your hands together for your next city dancer. And now, the 
Let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Allen Iverson. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Here's Iverson. He kicks to Embiid. That's good. Great play Two set up by Embiid. Iverson. Iverson's got six assists now in the game. Richardson against Iverson. Here's Garen. Over Green. And that one's good, Garen. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shot, that lead's going to expand. Here's Iverson. And no good that time. The Knicks go the other way with it. 22 is their biggest lead. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Richardson. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Malone's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Epic counts. Greer. Greer's got the nine assist. points now in just Alan the second half. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident looking performance for the Knicks. They enjoyed a big boost from the strong play of their bench. The, the subs came in and did their job. Those points off the bench were key to their victory. And the win-loss column tonight's game will push their record up to 54 wins on the year. And once again, they're going to come out on top in this series. Three straight victories in as many games on the season against this team. They've done a great job of just playing their best when it mattered most against the Sixers. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for Patrick Ewing. Boy, I liked how he mixed it up on the glass. Wasn't afraid to get in there and do the dirty work. Showed some real grit and toughness tonight. And it's the Knicks with the ball after the Sixers pick up two. Garnett against Higgadala. Just five to shoot. Pass to Garen. Over Maxi. And that one's good, Garen. And the Knicks lead by 17. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. Shot by Collins, no good. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. Trying to get open is Randall, and that one's good by Garnett. They credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. So no problem for New York as they get the win. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really did put in a supreme effort. Right? It just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to release. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.
Wrong day at Palace. I do not write, I'm just telling my truth when I get in the pool. Got a when no Judas got no computers, got so many sons, I don't know where the mood is. If you got a, I got a Camuto, we pull up with Goonies, but I'd rather sit on my feet.